Turks believe Fatullah Gulen is behind the coup. Here are five reasons why. Coup plotters used the Akunja military airbase as their headquarters. Adil Öksuz, an assistant professor of theology, was caught trying to flee the military airbase with the Pacha's soldiers. Why would a professor be at a military base in the middle of the night? Öksuz was one of the closest associates of Gulen and had just returned from the U.S. two days before the coup attempt with Kamal Batmaz. Batmaz was a former top executive at the Gulen-affiliated Kainak Holding, and he too was caught at Akunja military airbase. He was seen communicating with coup plotters on that night. TRT's broadcast center in Istanbul was among the first locations that coup plotters seized. CCTV footage reveals three key Gulenists escaping the site the following morning. Harun Shaheen, former general manager of Gulen-affiliated Surat Technology. Niazi Akalun, systems engineer at Gulen-affiliated Surat Technology. And Saifullah Gench, CEO of Gulen-affiliated Supercom Informatics. Another critical location for the coup plotters was police headquarters in Istanbul. Mithat Aynaja, a former police chief who already had a court history due to his ties with Gulen, was caught in a tank near police headquarters. About a month before the coup attempt, this Gulen affiliated professor of political science, Osman Osoy, predicted the coup. Bu ülkeye geleceğe inanılmaz aydınlık. Şu an dibe vurmak biraz daha dibe vuruyor. Dibe vuruyor. Bakın bu süreçlerin tamam bitirmek çok kolay. Yani bu çok kolay bir şey bu. Bitirmek derken bu süre çok yakın bir sürede Allah'ın izniyle sona erecek. Keşke bir albay olsaymışım mesela. Bu süreçte daha fazla katkım olurdu. In September 2015, Emre Uslu, a former writer for the Gulen-affiliated newspaper, Taraf, was asked when he would return to Turkey. This was his response, July 2016. It's the same month as the failed coup. He's now a fugitive in the U.S. and wanted by Turkey due to his ties with Gulen. Just one day before the coup attempt, Gulen-affiliated author Tunjai Apçin tweeted this, They will come for you when you are still in bed, and you will be hanged at dawn. Then this happened. At midnight, the coup plotters attacked the hotel that President Erdogan was staying in. Chief of General Staff Hulusi Akar was taken hostage by coup plotters and brought to the Akinja military airbase. This is what happened there according to his deposition. Who do you think you are? Who are you? Where's the second chief and his commanders you said that you had abducted? Where are the ministers? Whoever you have, bring them here. Who is controlling you? We can organize a conversation with our leader, Fethullah Gülen, if you want. I will not talk to anyone. Also, an accused flight lieutenant's testimony, referring to the attack on the presidential complex, says, This time, I dove and dropped another bomb close to the mosque in the presidential complex. At that time, I was aware that as the Hizmet movement, we were executing a coup. I deliberately dropped. After 40 years of being his closest companion, journalist Latif Erdogan reveals Gülen devleti ele geçirme peşindedir. Devlete, devleti ele geçirerek halifeliğini ilan etmek, halife olmak düşüncesi hep fikri sabittir onda değişmeyen bir düşüncedir. Hussein Gülerce, the former editor-in-chief of the Gulen-affiliated newspaper Zaman, says children raised in Gulen schools were brainwashed intensively. Lise çağlarından başladığı için, askeri liselerden başladığı için bu çocuklar general de olsalar Fethullah Gülen'i seçilmiş bir kurtarıcı, beklenen salih zat diye bildikleri için komutanlarından gelen talimat ve emirleri hiç dinlemezler. Seçilmiş kurtarıcıdan gelen, kainat imamından gelen talimatları dinlerler. Ta ilerilere gitme böyle cam damarları içinde dolaşma ve sonra eğer dönüp gelinecekse yara alınmadan, hissedilmeden dönüp geriye gelme meselesi. Geleceğimiz adına çok önemli esas lazım. Türkiye'deki devlet yapısı ölçüsüne göre bütün anayasal mühesselerdeki güç ve kuvveti 
cephenize çekeceğiniz ana kadar her adım erken sayılır. Fethullah Gulen has been living in the U.S. under self-imposed exile since 1999. Turkey has officially filed an extradition request for him. So when will Gulen be brought to justice? <laughs>